Hello and welcome back to the Seeded Run. This is the weekly seed play along right here. If you're not already, it's on the Discord. There we're doing a bunch of um, community things. And um, check it out. I just looked at the comments. I had two votes to turn in and get the one regrowth. And I had two votes to keep the seed. So why not the both to quote a meme? And actually, I think that is what I'll do. Because then I can take a strength potion, make it into a potion of mastery, and reduce this um, strength requirement. And then I can use the rot berry seed to make up that extra strength because you get one uh, bonus strength when you step on the rot berry plant. But I have to be a warden, of course, I believe, to get the most benefit out of it. So you're going to summon a skeleton right in front of me. So let's like get as much damage as we can with the shuriken because it's free and then follow up with the spear. And you still don't see me. That's pretty cool. Let's just keep going with the spear then do the most damage here. And you know what? Maybe it's because of the obfuscation. It doesn't know where I am. That's pretty cool. I think what we want to do is get in the door so when it does summon i think we can step out no it didn't work there is a little trick you can do which will get necromancer to come through first uh now the skeleton's blocking it so let's like throw this in here and just we'll just shoot skeleton a bunch of times and like the necromancer's not even healing it and then where did it go it ran all the way out. Interesting. What's oh, down there? Or is this a hidden area? This, so there's never hidden doors in one by one hallways like this. At least I read that on the wiki and I believe it to be true. Well, I believe my memory to be correct. There's still, oh, I lied. <laughs> okay. That's something we need to double check. Oh, you're sleeping, huh? I would like you to stay asleep, but I don't think that's going to happen. So let's just get right up close to it. We have a pretty strong spear here. Let's do a little bit of spearing. And our armor is strong enough to uh, to make up for the, the spear being slow. There's our potion of strength. Great. I would really like an identify scroll. Because uh, if this is plus one, it'll, it'll be good to know. So maybe we can find one of those. Oof. That was not very much damage. Notice the skeleton coming from here to here. It gets me a surprise attack. Did you see the exclamation point? I do like to go for surprise attacks when I'm using slow weapons because it's extra punishing if you miss. I think I might eat the ration here. Talent points, have we used them all? We have one remaining. Okay. I think I'll go with this. Making the food take one turn, it just like really helps you out throughout the whole game because it saves you like two turns every single time, right? I'm just going to get in range here and we'll just tank the skeleton. Oh no, we can't hit it from that angle. We'll come back then. Get um, the skeleton out of range from the necromancer so it can't be healed. And then we'll get the smacks in. And then where are you going? You're running away already? Wow. I love that we can see it though. I want to corner it. There you go. Bam. Be an identify scroll. Now it's upgrade. Okay. Ooh, ring of wealth giving us something fancy. Love to see it. Then step up here, so we meet him at the corner, in melee range. One thing we can I love about these doors is you can see through if there's an enemy in there. Since to, thanks to the uh, thanks to this talent, it's a great talent. Um, 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 so one thing I'm doing, if you notice, I do any sloppy or suspect plays as i'm trying to go as fast as i can because i'm not playing with any challenges on and i'm actually at this point very comfortable with six challenges i kind of consider that to be the like default difficulty now but i thought to make it a challenge since i'm playing with zero challenges is I just go as fast as i can so that's like my personal little little challenge i'm going for here you know i could have just hit it i didn't have to get into melee so that was silly of me but even these guys, their armor is just overwhelming. Plus three, plus three male. It's definitely, and we put two upgrade scrolls in that, by the way. So we did the old early investment trade off there to uh, sacrifice a little late game to be way stronger early game. And I, I think it's a good way to go. It really takes a struggle out. Okay, great. So two upgrade scrolls gets us down to. 16th requirement mastery brings it down to 14 and then the rottenberry seed will in fact give us that extra 14 so we'll we'll be able to use that i believe um in the warden 
I mean, that's not in the world. As soon as the first floor of the caves, as soon as we become a warden, we can use it, is what I'm saying. I don't think I want to mess with it um, beforehand. And I did search these already. Yeah, yeah. But we need haste. Okay. I don't think I want to mess with the raspberry before I'm the warden because, like, you get poison when you step on it and stuff, and it's kind of a pain. So, haste potion, I don't know yet. Um, so, let's just drink the most recent one we picked up, which I think is going to be the golden. Ooh, I'm a bit scared. So when I get scared, I like to go and see if I have identified Liquid Flame yet, because that's like the most point. There we go. Yeah, we have identified it. So I can drink this one and not be too worried. Okay, great. It was haste. Nice. It's a key. We needed that key, so don't mind. You're here a bit. So that key goes to here. All right. Go, 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 go. If I step down here, it doesn't see me. I get a surprise attack there. Nice. And I'm thinking of doing something which isn't actually good, but it'll be fun, which is um, take the... Uh, do I want two turns of haste? Or do I want one extra? I want one extra tile of vision. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. So it's really hard to um, talk without getting distracted in this game because... As I'm exploring, new things come up for me to talk about. But what I'm thinking about doing is going the um, the damage enhancement on the glaive. Because it's already slow. Mathematically, the best um, bank fear bug is speed. As far as, you know, like damage per second goes. But speed's not as fun because the you don't get the big numbers. So we actually need to go back to the alchemy pot. My bad. Which is on eight. Okay. Sorry, I messed that up. So I want to make that mastery potion right away. Ooh, we need to get close to you. Or... So we get shot here, we got shot here, or we maybe only get shot once or none at all because of our obfuscation armor. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm, what I'm thinking is going damage on the glaive because it's already slow. So I don't feel like making it even slower with the damage does that much. And because we have this beautiful talent here, we're going to be able to be behind grass. And then later on, I think we're going to trade the Rockberry seed in and get the regrowth. So we'll be able to um, root them and then just smack them um, with surprise attacks from the glaive because the uh, the grass will pop up and block line of sight. So we won't be missing, which I think is going to be the hugest thing for us. Yeah, you guys think you're clever, huh? You're going to regret that. Oh man, that kind of sucks. Just needs one hit. Let's like... Just throw a shuriken. Oh, I blocked it. Okay. And sure, it actually does less damage overall, but it does really big numbers and it'll be it'll be fun. I think it'll be more fun. And we can always change it later if we want to. So what we are what are we doing? I forgot. Yes, mastery potion. But let's go ahead and make this into uh, some stones there so we can figure out what it is. And we know your magic mapping. And we're going Mastery Potion. So for that, we actually need to make the Catalyst. No, we don't. It's just regular. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, was gonna, I thought we needed the Catalyst, but that's actually for the other potion. But we have four of these. So let's make them into some energy here. Beautiful. You know what else we could do is go ahead and make these. I don't know if we have Purity identified yet. We don't. Now we do. Wonderful. Yeah, so if you have three of them, you get guaranteed the uh, potion. And I'll identify it for you. So check it out. We're going to... Do a little rock and roll potion of mastery. We drink it. Put it on you. So this will go down to 15. Nice. And two of these. Bada bing. Bada boom. Brings it down to 14. Now the problem is usually that we just had to use a, a potion of strength, right? So now we don't get that 14. So we actually would have to wait until like the third floor or maybe even the fourth floor of the caves. But since we're going to have the rot berry... The Rockberry Seed is going to boost us up to 14. So I'm just going to wait until we can become the Warden because or else stepping on the Rockberry like poisons you or something. It's not, it's a little, a uh, little bad. So knock me, dang, I was really hoping to knock me forwards and not back. Well, I don't, okay, it is still following. So we can, let's go the long way. <laughs> as long as the uh, Skeleton's not getting the Adrenaline buff from the Necromancer, it's not going to be running hasted and hitting this extra. Like now it just got it again. Let's go down. I don't feel like putting them right now. And then, yeah, we're going to just throw all of our upgrades onto the glaive here and make it hit for as hard as absolutely possible. Let's go ahead and eat out of this. Why not? 
And we could also like take little snacks out of it and uh, like have a haste all the time. That could be interesting. Okay, time to fight. And do we need anything else for this fight? I think we're pretty good. Just with our bow and our armor. Yeah. We're just gonna... We could just like sit there and do really slow damage with the bow. And I don't think we're gonna take much in return from these little shurikens here. So just like shoot it too. And let's see what, how we for healing potions. It's this one, right? We just haven't drank one yet. So it's not identified. Yeah. All right. I think I'll just spam shoot. You can hear my keyboard. Click, 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 click. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so you, you take two upgrade scrolls and use them early game and just makes early game easy mode. I feel like it's a little better than saving, like, because what else do we get? We get two more upgrades on the glaive, and so it does even more ridiculous damage. Okay, fine. You know, it's fun, but if we were given, like, a plus one uh, leather or something, I probably wouldn't have done that. But I feel like because I'm going, like, trying to go as fast as I can, I was like, make amazing. Oh, yeah, I almost died. That's right. I was, like, surrounded by crabs and stuff, so that got me a little spooked. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's still kind of annoying just having to dodge all the traps, but it's okay. We got the smoke wall coming in. Okay. One shot and then move up. There you go. Poor Tengu. Your shurikens do nothing. Just getting chipped down. You okay, move out of the way. There right, we got it. Oh, and it even dropped something from the Ring of Wealth. Nice. Okay, Tango's mask. Here we go. Where? I'm gonna go Warden. Yes, I made my choice. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and get things prepped for the merchant here. What I like to do is uh take the stuff and I throw it over here so I can pick it up. Ooh. You gotta be careful not to throw it too far down because it can land. Maybe I keep that and I um take the curse off it later. Cause yeah, it could like land maybe in the zone, the area that switches levels, switches floors, and I don't know if you can pick it up if you do that. I've never actually thrown it down that far before. But also, we um, go ahead and I'll buy the scroll holder, and that'll give us a ton of inventory space. As long as we have more scrolls than we have range weapons. So one, two, three. One, yeah, we have way more scrolls. Okay. Any room for something else? There we go. Yeah, so that just, we don't have to run back as far. So I'll probably actually pause for the merchant because... I don't think like it's riveting content. One thing I will show though, oh gosh, we don't even have money, is that we like to, if you don't know this little trick, you know, the merchant has identified room of curse and that means this one's match mapping. So that's good to know. All right, be right back. Okay, so check it out. Now that we are a warden, what I like to do is actually make it a hotkey. Let's make it an easy one. Let's make it like two. We go to the seed here, go to the rock berry. So you take it and you can just throw it on the ground at your feet, but I'll throw it over Throw it here just to show. And it makes um, a three by three little bunker. So when you're in this bunker, right, since you're the warden, you can see through the grass. You can see out, but enemies can't see in. So you can shoot them here and they won't know. Um, but you can also hit them with the glaive once they come out. And also you get the Rotberry buff here. So plus one strength boost forward, 199 turns, which means we have 14 strength and we can equip this glaive, which is amazing. Also, it's blooming, so it's going to shoot even more grass up. So what do we got here? Eight to 64. Let's go ahead and throw the rest of our upgrades on it. Bada bing. Bada bamalema. Happy New Year, by the way. Today is the 31st for me. I'm not sure when you're watching this, but if you are watching it now, happy 2024. I hope everything worked out for you this year or last year and it will continue in the future. And thanks a lot for supporting me by watching these videos. I hope they provide some value to you. That is the whole point. They started out as videos um, just like little guides because there's not a lot of content for this game and it can be kind of frustrating which also makes people quit which is what i don't like to see is when they can't get over that learning curve and then end up quitting and then missing out on what is a great game my new year's resolution is to make a little bit of money off this channel when i get like 200 more subs and then i'll buy the game i'll, I'll go ahead and what's it called payback and i'll spend the first little 10 bucks i get and i'll buy the game even though it's free but I'll, I'll give back to the, the creator, which um, the dev of Shattered Pixel Dungeon actually gives a portion of his 
earnings to the original creator of the classic vanilla Shatter Pixel Dungeon. So I think, uh, not classic Shatter Pixel Dungeon, classic vanilla Pixel Dungeon. <laughs> Shattered is the, the new version. Anyways, I'm trying to think about what I want to do. Did it stay blooming? It did. Nice. That's awesome. So yeah. Oh, what are, yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to buy this, but I can't afford it, unfortunately, at 450. So we'll kill some of these gnolls. And yeah, so check it out. We can um, make some extra grass here. We'll throw this on the ground. And then I always pick it up right away because it can get destroyed. It is risky. So we'll shoot and we'll shoot. And then from here, bam, surprise attack with the glaive because it couldn't see us. And we just crush it. <laughs> and if we go check out the warden here, we're going to go and bark skin because it is a bunch of extra armor. The warden is actually very tanky because 150% of her level in bark skin armor, every time you step on grass, that's super good. Um, I'm stepping on grass all the time, especially because the seed of rock here, I'm always throwing it on the ground. So we get this extra armor, zero to six. So it's of her level. So as you level up, this looks like a hidden door to me. Let's just check this out quick. Oh, I'm sure indeed it was. Okay, we need double levitation or levitation plus haste to get through there. We have one and we don't have haste. Maybe we'll come back for it. Hello, bat. So I don't like to fight the bat here because if it dies and drops us a health potion, it's going to fall down and break. So I, I like to step back onto the firm, on terra firma, on the firm ground before I do that. Okay, beautiful. This guy is going to give us some money and there's an upgrade scroll as well. I think what we should do is get in here. Throw the rock grade down. Well, maybe we need to pick this up first. Get in here. Throw the rock grade down. Pick it up. Um, yeah, so the main thing with the rock grade is making the hockey. It just makes it a lot smoother. Let's keep upgrading. And then we'll just wake you up here with a little bow shot. And wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. You are very dead. So it's okay being slow if you kill them in one hit. That's the main trick about being slow. Um, the unfortunate spacing for this but if we use the shuriken to open the door it's a free turn and it doesn't wake up and it will never wake up because no it is a dead bat beautiful you see how the build is really coming together now we are absolutely crushing <laughs> the eva commence evil laughing uh 800 okay let's do it let's turn this up to extra fun mode oh there's a bat okay so it's probably going to come in and move two which means i kind of want to be like right here Oh, I missed. Bummer. All right, here we go. So we're going to go from 11 to 88, which is a rather slow. And let's go ahead and we can always change it later if it's really bad. But I want to try this. We're going to go from 17 to 132. What's that? Almost 50 more top damage. And now it's still rather slow. But I think, I think it still takes two turns, but occasionally it'll take three. I don't know exactly. I actually haven't done like double slow before okay bat so if i throw this here it immediately breaks the line of sight so it's not going to wake up because it doesn't see me and i think once you step on the bush um it won't you don't actually maybe you don't have to pick it up right away because i'm pretty sure i remember seeds don't burn but maybe it'll burn if it's in the bush the burning bush so um 105 damage and instantly killed we love it so that is the um, the fear always is that your rotberry bush like that is vulnerable. Really, it seems like does not seem like a dead end to me, but whatever. And you can lose the seed, so that is always a risk for me. It's like um, I'm gonna uh, turn it in after this. I just need to use it until we find the next uh, the next strength potion because we need to get up to 14 strength so we can use our uh, continue to use our glaive. So we definitely found, usually there's another levitation potion when you find one of these uh, hidden rooms here. So this guy, I think we're okay. Can we just hit it from here? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it moved and hit me. So that, that turn actually took three. I'm actually just going to run away from you here. The bat didn't see us. Interesting. Can we shoot the bat? Oh, uh, no. Well. Okay. Do we have anything we want to identify? No. These rooms are kind of a bummer like they don't really help us out too much if you have some armor or equipment that needs identified it'll tell you if it's cursed which is kind of the nice part about that but that's what all we get for so we have a little bit more money so let's go ahead and um definitely want to buy the third this one here magic mapping because we need four of them i always get four of those for the uh 
demon halls. That's probably my biggest tip and piece of advice for the demon halls is get four magic weapon scrolls. Don't risk allowing yourself to step on a disintegration trap or something worse. So that's going to move two. So let's step back one. Bam, surprise deck. One shot. This is um the Eminem movie. You only get one shot. <laughs> I'm a dark. I know. It's okay. So we go. Hey, we have two levitation potions. Beautiful. Let's get the um, keys here. And let's watch our timer. So we have 13 turns here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And remember, it takes a turn to pick them up as well. Four, five. Ooh. -hoo. Nice. One turn left. It's almost like it was designed this way. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to pick that up because it's going to take a turn, and I don't know if we have the turn to spare. So, 16. One. Remember, it takes a turn to open and a turn to pick it up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Okay, I'm going to say we're, we'll be done with five. Five turns left. And if we pick this up, we'll be done with four. That's just my guess. Ooh, scale armor of swiftness. Nice. Okay, we have three turns left. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> but actually, we only have to get to here. So, because then we can walk down over. Okay, we just barely made it. But barely is good enough for me. Let's go ahead and eat out of here. And let's go ahead and store some more. Let's just level this thing up. Why not? It's more efficient than eating the food, isn't it? I was kind of saving it to do um one final meat pie into there to max it out, but I'll just use the rations. That's just as good. We can max bark skin first. And what we... Okay, hello. I think we just let it step through because I don't want to miss and then be at range and have it zap me a bunch of times. So we're dropping down, but what we're definitely going to do is go ahead and use these uh, mage royals. I love the warden so much because you can just like plant this mage royal. Bam. And you also get a bit of uh, purification. So good. Oh, look at this. It's a chalice. Do we have remove curse scroll? No, we don't. So I'm going to chill on opening that for now. I could even like take a little nap in here if I wanted. This one is like the safest place to take a nap. Also, a very good place to take a nap because he just lost a bunch of health to falling down. Hey, look at that. Remove Cursed Scroll. Equip. Not cursed. Wonderful. So actually, I think I may just go ahead and hide back here a bit and start freaking. Because the first couple don't take all that much damage. Um, 30. Okay. One more. Mm, I don't know. I think I'll wait. There was an enemy up there. Where was that enemy? Oh, there's a bat. I think we can just kill it before it gets to us. But you know what? I'd rather... Let's go one, two, and let's go like... I don't know. I wonder if I can get out of its line of sight. Hey, surprise attack. There we go. The surprise attacks are very important to us because our weapon is very slow. We really can't afford to miss. We just have to do as much damage as we can. And you... I'm almost... Let me get up here just in case it comes close to us. I'm almost certain I'll kill it before it gets close enough. Yeah, Warden, see, that is the Warden in a nutshell right there. So good. So talented. So young. Okay, there's our potion of strength. So shall we go back and turn in the in the Rotberry? I believe we shall. You know, I didn't even use it that much, but having that 14 strength is what gave us the Glaive. So it was very important for us to keep. And there's an upgrade scroll. Mm, beautiful. So I think what we do is... Just step back. We get a free shot. It doesn't know where we are. And then we get a surprise stack through the grass. We can step back again. Bam. Love it. That's the warden power. Also want to buy an Ankh. That'll be just nice to have overall. Identify this would be nice too. And I think we should um head back up since we're here. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn in this Rotberry and then... We can see how good actually oh maybe i should wait okay okay yeah i'm gonna wait and i'm gonna collect as much money as i can because then i'm gonna probably run up and buy out the rest of that shop so we'll just be a little more efficient with it right vampiric katana Ooh, vampiric is a wonderful enchant that i would love to have but i am good on weapons right now this is definitely a door here 
Hello, Matt. What is below you? A warping trap. That's funny. I'm thinking I could like throw a hammer and it hit the ground after it bounces off the bat and trigger the trap, but it won't teleport the bat away, will it? Because the bat's flying. I lie. It did teleport the bat away. <laughs> awesome. That was kind of like a for science moment. I just wanted to see what would happen. I didn't think it teleported the bat away, but it did. So I'm pretty happy about that. This one thing with traps or if you need to trigger a seed as well. Okay, so this is a bit of a tricky spot because of the water. I can't grow any grass here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get the surprise attack there. And then I'll use this just to run away. Oh, there's a bat over there, is there? It's the one from earlier. Oh, and it gave us a health potion. Thanks, Matt. Oh, another health potion. Wonderful. So I think we just get the surprise attack here. Then we run away. Yeah. So notice that time it didn't hit me, but the previous time it did. So that's telling me that the previous time when it hit me, it took um, three turns. And this time it did not hit me, so it only took two. So that is the thing. It's like not every time, but occasionally you do get hit an extra turn. Or, or the uh, glaive with the damage does take three turns instead of two. I'm loving this ring of wealth. Do you get a plus zero ring of wealth? Like totally pays off. It's so good to have. <laughs> Gotta love that music. Okay, look at this. Everyone, see, I I said I I was chatting in the Discord with some folks, and I was saying that the hardest part about the caves is the bats, because you can get bats on you, and if you're not strong enough to kill them, they're just going to life steal forever. And everyone said they hate. The spiders. The spiders are the worst. It was pretty unanimous. No one agreed with me about the bats. Well, I'm sticking with it. I still hate the bats the, the most. Well, no, I mean, I do agree that the spiders are the most, absolutely the most annoying, but I don't think they're the most run ending because if you get a bat on you that you can't kill, that's just GG. And you can't get away from them, you know, because they're super fast. The first time I came back to playing this game, uh oh, we have anything that's going to freeze? Hey, the meat's going to freeze. Don't mind if that freezes. Gosh, this doesn't feel like a dead end to me, but I guess it is. So let's go down to this hidden this store there. Let's um, grow this meat. Will this one freeze even though it's already cooked? No, it doesn't. That's fine. But you can actually still make um, meat pie out of it. You know, if you think about it, it's probably going to be a little dry because it's been cooked. It's probably overcooked, but it'll be okay. So what I like to do is just throw these at the webs and it breaks them. Why don't we go ahead and trigger that trap? I should just open this up here. Get another one. Man, light you on fire. What are you going to do about it? Nada. You're going to die. Oops. So I'll just hide down here. We could like do this to make even more grass if we wanted to. Oh, for a moment there, I think we um, may not have had enough strength because we hadn't been using that. But no, we already got the 14 strength, right? So let's, we can also throw it ahead because we want to make the grass here. And then we step up to it. And there we go. And then we don't have to pick it up right away because that'll take a turn. We want to spend that turn um, sh uh, shooting that guy down there. Let's go ahead and eat here. And let's go ahead and feed it some more. Yeah, store. Okay, fantastic. And we have enough health, so let's go ahead and brick. You want to do that um, as much as you can early on because you're going to spend time regaining that health back. It's kind of like um, with recharges, right? So this guy is actually going to hit me next turn. Oh, uh, I messed this one up. Oh, well. Oh, um, no, look, he didn't even know where I was. <laughs> Great. Oh, one shot. Yeah, one shot. Um, nowhere to run, unfortunately, so let's just try and kill it. Nice. Oh, that's the hammer that got teleported from earlier. Nice. Okay, this is just a money, and that's a, what kind of trap is that? Burning trap. So that's going to be a wider radius than usual. You know, a good lesson of life to live by is if you have a, a roommate or a partner or someone you share a house with and you hear them recording, definitely get on the phone and stand in the hallway right by them and talk very loud. 
or or start vacuuming that's my favorite love the vacuum although i waited to vacuum right until you said record that's my favorite how are we doing with money we do have enough to buy out that shop but i think we even left a bunch of stuff on the shop in the prison so i might even go way back there as well it doesn't know where we are because of the grass and so i'm going to shoot it and then oh i really wish i could get the uh a shot here but it's not going to be surprise tech oh it was nice great anyways i'm gonna go ahead and call this video here We're in about a half hour and i think in my downtime i'll run up to the other two shops and i'll buy them out and then we'll pick up right here on floor 13 anyways hope you're having a great one happy new year and rat punchers punch on cheers